placed three screws on the right and only two on the left. The reason we did this is that way I didn't create what's called a stress riser. Now, a stress riser can happen when you have a very stiff part and then sort of a not so stiff part above. So I was worried about just placing two screws and then having the rest of her spine be her normal weak osteoporotic bone. So instead, I tried to place one screw to kind of give it a little more of a transition as it go, went from the really stiff cemented screws into a little less stiff and then finally into her own bone. Lisa felt better almost immediately. In fact, I was honestly kind of surprised, but she really bounced back quickly from this operation. She noticed the difference in her pain like post-op day one. Uh, which is great. I can't say it's typical. For mo most people, it takes a little longer than that. Um, but she's a year out now. All the screws and rods, everything is holding up. The bone graft seems to be taken. Um, she has her regular back pain, the kind of back pain she lived for 50 years of her life. But that pain that was causing her the problem, the pain that was keeping her from walking, that nerve pain, that's a lot better.